Right, Adam, uh, second home defeat of the season. Uh, go, going ahead early was, was nice and positive and then sort of lost our way a little bit that first half. Yeah, possibly. Um, just two sloppy goals, isn't it? I mean, maybe the second one's caused a little bit from how we play. Uh, we haven't conceded too many from us playing up and back, but just bad decisions on the ball. Um, yeah, and, and uh, you know, the first one, we just got, the lads got in behind. Um, so, yeah, both goals were analysed and we look at it and feel we could do better. Um, but, yeah, the character and response second half I thought was excellent. So, you know, there's lots to be pleased with. Yeah, I was going to say, second, second half, we were really build, beginning to build ahead of steam. Um, I felt there was a, a, a couple of strange decisions from the referee, especially sort of towards the end. I thought it was definite handball. Possibly, um, but you know, I'm not one to get to, you know, you could say that the first goal, the lads gone through Miki as well, but you know, what this, all we try and focus is on is um, what we can control and um, you know, we can't do nothing about the ref not giving decisions and stuff like that and I think it evens itself up over the course of the season and stuff like that. So yeah, what we can control is how going one nil up, I think Aaron had a good header maybe to make it 2-0. Um, that didn't take, um, and then yeah, I just felt they um, got their two one ahead and, and dealt with being ahead better than what we did. Um, showed a bit more character, resilience, and determination to, to stay in the game. And um, yeah, I think that'd be a disappointing thing for. But we play some really really good stuff. Um, first half in particular, like some of the link up play was good and. I think there's a goal where it was just offside, but you know, some really, really good stuff, really, really pleasing stuff um, on the eye. Um, but yeah, I just felt we probably didn't, um, over the course of the, the 45 minutes, quite um, like mentally be sharp enough to where things are bouncing. And you know, it was a bit, um, bit, bit lax on that, on that side, out of possession, we was a bit quite poor today. Okay, and then. Obviously, Jasper's got got an injury. I was soon going out with a big boot on his foot. Is it is it bad or? Yeah, potential ankle ligaments, um, which is like six to eight weeks. Um, so yeah, it could be a bad one. But it sort of summed up the, the 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 day a little bit. I think you know we played some really good stuff. It was all clicking nicely. We missed the header, then two sloppy goals, and then Jasper done that with his ankle, and then like a, you know lots of good stuff second half and lots of character and just. You know, lots of good chances again that, um, unfortunately, on the day we didn't take. But, um, yeah, if we're getting beaten, we're not creating chances and teams are coming here and absolutely dominating us or outworking us and stuff like that, then you'd say there's real um, cause for concern. But, you know, how we played, I'm really sort of pleased with, you know, how we've, how we've gone about it. And second half, we, we was 2-1 down and, you know, really took the game to them. I felt like yeah. I was turned watching most of the game in their half um, so you know full credit again like to the players they, they kept going and you know it just wasn't wasn't to be for us today yeah um good to see Dan, Danny Barker back from injury and then Armstrong got in a, on, on in the second half to to get some minutes after being injured so some positives from the injury front no that's right yeah um yeah hopefully uh, Luca might be able to get some minutes this week as well with his wrist um so yeah it's good um you know, no Buddy, no Ty, uh, no Luca in, in the squad today, Carl weren't in the squad either, so you know, we've got four lads there that wasn't even involved today with everybody back and like I say, Danny come back in, Mark's come back in and um, yes, um, what, what we want what we want in the club is good competition for places and it, well, it's good to have everybody back because I think we've got something like 15 games now uh, in 10 weeks or something. Yeah, so yeah, big long run coming up, starting with Seaford on Tuesday night in this Sussex Senior Cup. Um, I presume it's going to be a, a, a much changed side on Tuesday? Um, yeah, we'll look at who, who needs some minutes and see who needs, needs to, to rest up. Um, you know, I think the only real um, concern will be Jesper. Um, obviously, Dennis tightened up in his calves and, and stuff again, so you know, I have to look at him. But yeah, that'd be the key thing to, to sort of, um, you know, Bounce back Tuesday with with a good performance, and you know I, I thought large parts of, of today there was some some good stuff. Yeah, obviously disappointing that the runs come to an end, um, but then we just we just have to start another run now, won't we? <laughs> no, that's right. Yeah, um, it's still very disappointing when you lose games of football, especially um, 
when as a group we're, we're used to winning games so you know nothing will change from our point we'll analyze today see where we can improve and get better and i know these players will give their all to to make sure they, they work on where we can get better and, and look to improve and that's all we do um every game okay unlucky today adam but, um awesome. cheers cheers Pete.